Yo. Yo, it's comrades. Currently just riding some bars at Starbucks, like I always do. Um, so currently working on Kwong tonight as composer, musical director. Um, it's a bit of a dream because it's a, a show written by Alex Wheatle, who's a Brixtonian, so he lives uh, not that far from me and a lot of my family grew up in Brixton and I got to actually meet him and chill with him. So working on the music for that show, which is going to be a mixture of, of gr grime and drill, uh, maybe some R&B and a couple of ballads in there, maybe uh, for just transitional moments. I mean, it's a straight play, but we're going to just mix up that aspect uh, with a kind of uh, vocal beatbox hip hop uh, music that I like to create all from the mouth. It's, it's really, really exciting. I can't wait to start working on that show. High Rise of State of Mind, Beats the Elements. <laughs> Lady Kiki. Full <laughs> Creek. Gamba Ace. Give an invitation to a dinner date and have the chef prepare a free course meal at eight. We're currently still developing that show and that whole project. We're hoping to do some collaborations with a couple of theatres to progress that show. And that show is, is about class and it's about the human condition and about how we're shaped by events all around us. Uh, we have used Jade Ballard's ama amazing dystopian novel to make that, to make that book, uh, to make that, that show, that, that kind of, I like to call it a project because we've got some music videos coming out, we've got the album for it and also we want to work in different communities, different places to create other pieces around that project about housing and about people's environments. But that show in itself uh, is quite special. Um, we made that, that, we've been working on that over three years. So that's coming again, it's just a dream to, to get that show funded by the Arts Council and to keep that keep that going and uh, you know better work with those guys and also a big big team shout outs to Lara me and Lara original you know, creators of uh, Frankenstein <laughs> uh, how to make a monster beatbox academy our next big project is Pi Piper um, We've got an A team on that. Um, you know, we right now the performers and the artists we have on that show is is an A list team. So we're really excited. We're going into R and D. It's still early days, but we know what we're going to do. That's going to be a massive kids show. It's going to be a Christmas show, an interactive show. Hopefully, we can we can do lots of other digital things, heritage things, touring things with that show. And uh, really excited because again, developing or well, using my uh, practice. Uh, of beatbox theatre and an ensemble working together to bring out the authentic sounds and stories from each participant to tell, to weave that into just a narrative, uh, you know, a clear narrative, also a visceral experience, musical experience. Um, is, is really exciting. It's a privilege to have worked with that team and be back with Lara because we've done big things in the past. We worked on uh, No More for the Foxes and she also worked on Denmark for a little time and so we've done a lot of this work together so yeah no pressure no pressure next next big show working together um that's gonna be at bac check that out plus lots of different videos coming out different projects i've got some music videos coming out no more for the foxes music video just came out so we you know we're probably currently on you know 24 views so uh play that check that out and yeah just a lot of other things kind of whizzing away and working with uh, cardboard citizens creating a show with them it's just really exciting to, to be able to do all these different things and um, hopefully I'll see you there and well, I'll be doing a workshop with you somewhere along the way oh yeah shout out to Mount View running their voice course again which has been brilliant really really cool and um, 